I want to share with you guys a belief and concept that I brought into my life recently. This is something you might have heard of before. It's a bit abstract. When you start to pay attention to it, it becomes more real than ever before. I want to start off by asking you guys a question. What is the story that you tell yourself? I know this is not something we typically think about and we like to ignore that little voice inside of our head. But when you start to pay attention to it, what is that chatter like? What is the dialogue and relationship like with that voice? How long has the story been going on for inside of your head? Who put that story there if someone did? And is it even true? Or is it all just a lie? From the conversation you have with yourself from the moment you wake up to the hesitancy you get when trying something new or unsafe, this is all the governor inside of your brain. You may have heard of this term before, the governor, and I wanna dive a little bit deeper into it and start to expose some of its strengths and weaknesses. Now this is an important part to pay attention to. The governor, which is that little voice inside of your head that tells you what to do, does not want you to be unsafe. It wants you to stay in the same state that it knows it can control. As you know, the brain controls the body. And why would it want to push itself into an unsafe area that it's never been before? But as we know, true growth doesn't come from playing it safe or from staying in the same comfort zone. The reason I'm explaining all of this is because the more we can control that voice or pay attention to it, the more we can thrive and grow in our personal journeys. Waking up in the morning, typically the first thing I feel is doubt and disbelief in my abilities. So how does this affect me? Well. The brain is sending signals to the body that it is scared and doubtful. And so why would I wanna get up right away and attack the day? It's much easier to hit the snooze button, to take it slow and push my goals off one more day because those goals are so scary. I've begun the practice of fighting that governor realizing that the voice and the story it's telling me is a complete lie. The governor is really just a test that happens daily, weekly, and throughout your life. Kind of asking you how bad do you want it? Because once you push through that initial hesitancy, the voice will change and say, okay, so you do want that. But the hard part is keeping at it continuing to push those thoughts and that self-talk away and telling yourself it's not true. Earlier, I mentioned how there's strengths and weaknesses to the governor. Well, one of the weaknesses is the stronger you get, the weaker that voice gets. But the first step is always the hardest. And then the second step to follow and third and fourth will just come as momentum. One thing I started to learn about the governor is it's tricky. It's a tricky bastard. 
It'll give you all types of excuses and try to talk you out of doing things that are uncomfortable. I think this voice is just part of the human condition. It's evolution, keeping us safe, and trying to help us live longer lives, but not necessarily the happiest life we can live. If we sat inside all day, we would definitely be safe, but as the pandemic taught us, we would go crazy. So seeking safety and comfort isn't necessarily the best thing for us. And so I think it's almost a duty to try to fight that feeling and progress down this new road. It's recording a YouTube video. Yeah. You want to you want to be in it? Come up here. All right. Surprise guest from Cody. It's perfect for the channel. It was meant to happen at this time. <laughs> when you think of the uh, when you think of the governor, what do you think of? When I wake up, you know, early in the morning for the jam, it's 5 a.m. and you know, a lot of me wants to go back to bed. There's that voice in my head that's obviously saying you can just, you know, lay back down, get back and get comfy. Um, maybe you can work out later on in the day. But uh, then I guess, I don't know, there's a louder voice that is telling me to get up. You know, I, I need to push through some of that discomfort. And uh, it, usually I, uh, I'll just kind of get over it after doing a little, little bit of my morning routine and um, that'll all go away. Um, any, any doubt in, you know, should I get up or not? That kind of thing happens um, in a lot of different situations for me. Um, that's just one that I can say, hey, yeah, that, that's, that's the voice. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. I'm gonna do this outro now. <laughs> that was just the perfect timing right there for Cody to come in and share his insight with the governor because he's totally someone who is tuned into it and is fighting it daily. And I see how much control he has and the rewards that it gives him. So I wrote an outro here that I'm going to read because I want to make sure I get it right. Do you want to live a life where doubt runs you, where you're not the one in control? So take notice of that voice. See where your limitations are. The governor is keeping you from your full potential because it knows you can achieve it. But to achieve it, there will be pain, there will be sacrifice, there will be hard times. It does not want you to go through that. But on the other side is the true and authentic you. All gas, no brakes. Find that true you and build a wall around the governor. Discover his tricks and his tactics that are trying to keep you safe and secure. He is you, so destroy him and keep stepping into that new you. You are running out of time.